The chair of the Joint Chiefs, General Charles Brown, gave a stern warning to Iran. He's telling them, do not get involved in the war. Former Pentagon official Brent Sadler is with me now. All right, Brent, in your judgment, are we close to war with Iran? I think the short answer is no, unless Iran actually takes a provocative action that crosses a red line, like attacking U.S. forces in the Persian Gulf. Well, in the past, um, what Pe President Trump laid down a red line with Iran. They mm -hmm. crossed it, and he knocked off their terror leader. I mean, there was an immediate response. Yes. What red lines have we laid down with Iran now under President Biden? Well, I think the, the, the killing of Soleimani is an interesting and separate case. That was a gentleman that had led terror operations and proxy wars throughout the Middle East and killed many hundreds of Americans throughout, throughout our involvement in Iraq. And so his day was coming, and Trump thankfully took that, and it sent a very strong signal, very clear signal to Tehran that the United States wasn't going to tolerate it. We have to be clear and send a similar signal again now if we start to hear or that we find out that Hezbollah or Hamas are planning retaliatory actions or actions against U.S. interest anywhere in the world. Already in Gaza, they've killed over 20 American citizens. So it's important that the U.S. also take retaliatory actions against Hamas specifically for those but, attacks against Americans. But will President Biden show that kind of strength to go after Iran if they cross one of these red lines? Mm -hmm. will, will we do it? Well, the track record's not very good in that right. regard. One, we're continually getting reports that members of his administration are very favorable and leaning towards Iran's interest and not U.S. interest. Uh, we're also continually being reminded of his inability to take strong action or to signal uh, commitments. It got us into, it got uh, Russia, or gave a green light for Russia to invade in February of 22, Ukraine. It had a disaster, and it all starts with a disastrous withdrawal from Afghanistan that signaled that the U.S. didn't care about its allies or its own citizens when they were under direct threat overseas. And so the track record's not clear. Okay, Brent, we'll have to leave it right there. I'm going to go back to Israel for a second. Brent, thanks so much for being with us this morning.